Uh, Code Blue technology is designed to be the single source of technology for small to medium sized businesses, including computers and support, networking, telephone systems, video security, and access control. Our mission has always been, for almost 19 years, to be the answer for a small to medium sized company in matters of technology. From sort of a beginning engagement of just consulting and counseling and learning and understanding their business and how they want to leverage technology, and then combining the right products and services with that to make sure that they end up with the solution that they're expecting and something that's additive to their business. You know, we work very hard to have a complete suite of products and services and also to be somewhat agnostic so that we're not always recommending that same cookie cutter solution time and time again. It is truly customized based around what they want to accomplish. Our footprint has grown to be from Southern Maryland to Northern North Carolina. It originally started in Greater Richmond. We also have a, a second office out in the Northern Neck region of Virginia. We feel like that's a very special area. We've had customer relationships down there. You know, the whole tenure of Code Blue Technology. The teams that we have set up today, there's a lot of cross training because we're focused on response time. And so if we create too many silos of, of people and we need this kind of expertise, but we have a very small pool to pull from, that's bad for our customers. So we cross train in a lot of ways. But the teams naturally would be our professional services and engineering team that go out and do installations and then fix things that need to be fixed. We have our managed services and monitoring team that's responsible for making sure that systems that we protect are always protected, always up, you know, backups are done, security is checked, those things, that's a dedicated group of people where we don't mix in. And then we have our, you know, our voice teams, so our folks that go out and install and support telephone systems because that's a specialty in and of itself. We were in office space that, that was traditional office space, not space that was conducive to technology where you had workbenches and you know, the right kinds of heating and cooling and humidity control and all the things that we enjoy here at our new place. And so when, when we finally got to the point where we felt like it was time to move, it was about a two and a half year search to find just the right location with all the attributes we wanted. We wanted a blank canvas where we could design it and build it the way that we wanted it to be done. We wanted a location that was central to our customers and our footprint, you know, here in Hanover. We can run down to the Northern Neck and assist our guys down there. We can go north on 95, south on 95. So we feel like we're in a great location to be able to be responsive like we need to be. And the real difference with Hanover was the involvement of Hanover Economic Development. They took an interest when they heard that we were looking and I got to meet Linwood Thomas and get to know him and some of the team there. They actually, even though we're a small company, they took a genuine interest in finding us a good spot to lay in at Hanover. And that's attention that we didn't get in the other jurisdictions. The process just was smooth all the way through. I can't think of a single snag that we hit along the way building out the office. And then the folks in economic development said, we don't think you're gonna hit any snags, but if you do, let us know. We'll help you get those snags worked out. And so we just felt like we had the full support of the county. Once this building was identified, we started to look at the facilities that were, were close to this building. And it happens to be that fiber optics and Comcast and lots of other carriers come right down at Lee Road, right off the side of the building. We can see the fiber markers from here. So we're really close and it was really easy to get connected into the internet and other backbones that we need to be connected to, to serve our customers. You know, we, we built the office bigger than we needed it to be at the time, but we've almost filled it, you know, in just a little bit less than a year. And thankfully, we've got room to be able to add more stations and other, other things here in the existing office. But with this being a three-story building, you know, our footprint will, will expand throughout the building over time. Right now, we've got extra space that we're happy to lease and, and are looking forward to having some neighbors with us here in the building. But don't ignore Hanover County. And what I mean from that is that, you know, Hanover Economic Development is interested in having you. Regardless of your size, regardless of your mission, they're interested. If you're a good fit for Hanover and Hanover is a good fit for you, they will do what they can do to make sure you find the right place here. 